Back at it again. So Freely has deleted me. So Freely's banned me from my own forum. And I've been on 30 hours a day. It's a forum that me and Freely co-founded back in uh, January 2009. When we were both homeless, living on welfare. Yes, Freely was on welfare. And then she denied it publicly at a Chiang Mai festival. She definitely was. As long as I, uh, when I first met Freely, she was $30,000 in debt. Tabi out of shape. Not who she is today. Actually, she was nice about that. A lot nice. But anyway, so Freely has deleted me off the forum. So people ask me why I'm not posting it. It's a forum I've posted almost daily for nine years. And as of a few, yesterday, a few days ago, um, I thought Freely was just joking and thought she'd reinstate me. So I didn't make a video for it. She's just having a tantrum tantrum, as she does regularly. But So I have been deleted from there. Uh, there's no links to my book on there. There's no links to me on there. It's just, Duran Rider is banned from his own forum. Um... I've done over 8,500 posts on that forum almost daily for nine years posting and Freely has decided to ban me from that. Anyway, yeah, I've got a message from Freely on the phone and I won't hide a number for privacy, but basically um, I didn't see this message. I didn't check my message on my phone that much. She said, if you don't, if you say that Robin, uh, I forced Robin to have a vasectomy, I'm going to delete you off 30 bad. So I didn't see that message, so Freely's deleted me. So that's how much she cares about the community, not that she would delete me and nine years of work because I said the truth in that Freely did force Robin, my friend, ex-friend, dog, whatever. <laughs> we call him the Swedish sweaty Labrador because uh, he's horny and sweaty as a Labrador <laughs> just coming out of the river. Um, that's another story. But Freely did force Robin to have a vasectomy. It's fucking facts. You know, Robin is a friend of mine uh, who I met in 2014. He came to my festival in 2014 when Freely wasn't there. And like all the young guys, we all we talk about, you know, no fat or testosterone or it's just what you, you know, cycling. All this is the general conversations. And I always bring up vasectomies with all my male friends, especially the guys who lean like to get into the girls and stuff. And so I remember saying to Robin, you should get a vasectomy. You know, you're like knocking back in the chicks and stuff like that and you should get a vasectomy. Or you're going to get someone pregnant, bro. And I said to everyone, all my guy friends. And Robin was always like, no, 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 you know, he's... And then he does his no-fap thing, or he's chasing girls, or whatever the fuck he's doing. And I remember this year, um, I met Robin in May, and the vasectomy topic came up. We were riding our bikes down the door, and I said, Robin, come on, mate, vasectomy, you in Chiang Mai, um, Patrick's just done it done. And what he's expect thinking about doing it as well? And Robin's like, ah, no, 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 man, no, no, no. And he does his little Swedish Labrador head shake, no, 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 man. And he, and he quickly changed the subject. I was like, no worries. Um, and then shortly, about a week later, me and Freely split up. Now, Freely does a ton, has done a Tumblr post today, so this is another reason why I'm making the video. People say, oh, Freely doesn't... No, Freely always calls me drama behind the scenes. Freely messages all my friends, trying to turn them against me. Like, every week, she's trying to turn something against me. Anyway, you can go to Freely's Tumblr and can read read her latest rant, January 21st. But so Robin definitely did not want to get upset to me. But Freely turned him around, and I've got a message somewhere from Freely where she says, basically, she pussy with Robin enough to... Do whatever the fuck she wants with him. And I think, and I'd take my hat off to Freely for doing that. More women need to put their foot down and say, You ain't fucking me until you had a snip. And Robin's like, All right, he got the snip. Freely even paid for it, which is no big uh, surprise for anyone because Freely, often in Chiang Mai, I would say to any guy, I'll pay for your vasectomy because in Thailand it's pretty cheap. So Freely paid for the vasectomy, demanded he had a vasectomy, and Freely made the offer to any guy at our festival, If you want to get a vasectomy, Freely will literally pay for it. You know? And anyone at the festival, the guys will know that because it was sort of it was a bit of a running joke. Like Freely is going to pay for my vasectomy, um, and that's really cool that she did that offer. So Freely is basically trying to turn me into this monster again. I'm just reading through the thing. What she says, she says Harley couldn't handle me getting close to Robin. Um, Freely, sorry, correct me if I'm wrong, but I introduced you to Robin for one. Two, when we split up, I actually told Robin that you were very keen on him. Okay, so. I was not jealous, I was not bitter, I knew all along you were doing the groundwork on Robin for the last year, sending him messages, showing him photos, and sending him sexy shots, and even inviting him to stay at your house on the Gold Coast, so I saw those messages, and you know that, and he did lie to me again and again, and said, Robin's just a friend, I don't even like him, he's like a goofy Swede backpacker, try hard, your own words, um, so I don't, definitely don't hate Robin, I even paced Robin for time trials during the festival, when Freely and Robin were together, and plenty of people witnessed that, I had no animosity or aggression towards Robin. I still don't. You know, I just think he's like a, a broke Labrador. He's a, he's a dog. Not in a bad way, but he's just like, he's the sort of guy that will know that, oh, what's the word? 
if I was single guy and there was a girl in a relationship who was flirting heavily with me, I would be like, you know, no worries, like, sorry, I don't I want any part of this. But Robin was just like, oh, yeah, this is good, you know. So he's just a dog. Um, and then not hate towards him like that. It's just is what it is. So there's, there's, I've got plenty of dog friends who deal with the same. It's just part of the deal. A lot of guys, if you've got a hot girl or a girl that people want, then they'll go for it. That's just, that's just nature. Um, dogs. They're dogs. Um, that's what they are. And again, it doesn't mean they're bad. It's just dogs. Like a dog is a dog. You know, this is horny, it's still fucking steal the food, it's, just, it's a dog, it's just primal, it's, you know, it's not bad, it's just it is what it is. So, Felix sends all this stuff, you go to a Tumblr reading it on, but basically she did pay for his vasectomy, she has banned me off the forum, um, we had a conversation on the phone the other day for an hour, she even said something about, um, call me and stuff like that, so we talked for ages on the phone, um, and she basically said... Um, can you take the videos down? And I say, yeah, I can take the videos down, but how about we do a collab video? Or you do some videos, you know, about me, blah, 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 and we can do like a collab thing. She's like, oh, maybe. But in this Tumblr post, she's like forcing it around. It's like I was demanding it or whatever. Um, so Philly does do Botox. She still does it. She still denies it. She's still lying about it. Uh, and I think if you do Botox, it doesn't make you a bad person. You know, I've got other friends. I've got plenty of friends who've done Botox, you know, boob jobs, etc. Freely just be open about your, your Botox addiction, you know, there's nothing wrong with it, you know, it's a, it's a crazy shallow world where we do compete with, you know, we get 40 year old women like yourself, almost 40, to compete with like, you know, 20 year olds, 18 year olds, so like, you know, and another thing is, Freely's now going after my girlfriend, Tori, sending a message on Instagram, thinking that Freely, uh, Tori's not going to show me those messages, and she did, and I was just like, that's just classic Freely manipulation tactic, so there's more drama going on there. This is Days of Our Lives all over again, and I sort of find it laughing and humorous, because I'm just, that's the sort of guy I am. Otherwise, if you get angry about your ex-girlfriend going crazy and deleting off your own forum, like, you'll just, you'll do your head in, you know, so... So apologies to all the people in the community who relied on my daily post at 30minutesday.com, that is... Unfortunately, no longer, unless Freely comes to grips and uh, comes to rational fucking thoughts and go, okay, you know, it's no worries. Um, so, what else do we... Harley, Freely even says, Harley did not introduce me to Robin. Um, yes, I did. Yes, I did. Anyway, um... You know... Uh, she says Robin's a top quality person. He's pretty cool, but unless, if you're like an... A fat girl, or not as ascetic, Robin ain't got time for you. Robin ain't got time for you. So those people are like, oh, Robin's really nice. It's, yeah, because he, maybe you're ascetic, and that's why he's got time for you. He's just the average sort of, you know, backpacker try-hard dude. Not bad, but, um, you know, he definitely is a dog. Any Anyone who flirts with a girl, a woman, who's in a relationship with another guy, is a dog. Anyone who reciprocates flirting is a dog, in my opinion. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and then Freely says it's her website. <sighs> Freely says she's paid thousands of years for it. Well, Freely's made thousands of dollars. Maybe all those apparel and apps and stuff. I never saw a cent of that. Because Freely said, hey, look, how about I just use that money to go into the website? I said, no worries. I said, how much do you earn? She said, oh, it doesn't matter. Freely never showed me any receipts of how much she earns. She's done a lot of money selling apparel. I never saw a cent of that. And that's fine. I don't care because Freely's more about the money than I am. But unfortunately, this is all going to be going to court. Because now I can't really earn much of an income that my books have been deleted off my own forum. So I've got to go see the lawyers now, and it's just going to get fucking messy. Um, blah, 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 blah. End of the day, I want to say that I promoted uh, 30roundsday.com more than anyone else. You can see, I've got thousands of videos. Can you show me one single video where Freely's ever promoted the 30 Day website? I can't think of any. Well, I've literally done probably over 5,000 videos with the 30 Rounds a Day stamp on there and the links, etc. Um, there we go, so, again, basically, definitely, uh, Philly also said, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm feeling a bit skittish, I'm just reading as uh, I go here, um, Raw Tool 4, I came up with that, you know, I came up with that plan, Philly's mum came up with the name, but I was, I read Fit for Life, there's a book called Fit for Life, I read that in 2001, if you read it, it's very, very similar to Raw Tool 4, fruit for breakfast, lunch, stances for dinner. And now with Raw Tool 4, it's different because I recommend the cycling and the early nights and all that stuff. So basically everything that Freely teaches today, 99% of it, I taught her. The cycling. If Freely didn't meet me, she'd still be some out-of-shape girl, fucking steroid he heads at the gym, starving herself using clambuterol in more debt. 
in more debt. And I'm definitely going to hate towards Freely, you know, but I just, it just frustrates me all the shit she's doing these days. Um, what, else, what else have we got here? Um, jealous and bitter. That's that's you, Freely. You're the one who's jealous and bitter. Every if I was like if it was a, if there was a woman in, at, at Chiang Mai, Thailand that showed interest in me, Freely would sniff them out and she would like get onto their back and ride with them and just trash talk the fuck out of them. Uh, trash, trash talk the fuck out of me to them. So jealous, so possessive. Uh, and the breakup was instigated by myself. I came home one day. I saw her and Robin flirting. And I'm like, look, in my house, it's like, bro, just, just set it free, man. This is not working. It's too much stress for you. It's too much stress for her. So I came back from my um, ride that morning, fully sitting on the bed in our in our little uh, apartment in Green Hill. I said, let's do it. Let's, we should just break up. She's like, really? You want to? I said, yeah, let's do it. You know, stay friends. Let's keep the community going, blah, 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 blah. And I pleaded with free. They even fucking cried, I reckon. I said, let's not war with each other. Let's not war. You know, let's not have any fucking online bullshit. Let's just keep our shit to ourselves. Feels like no worries. And then she started doing all that shit at the Q&A about the steroid stuff and all this stuff. And then I said to her, I said, look, if you're going to talk about that, I already talk about that. But how about you talk about your Botox? Hmm? And she just like went like white in her face. And she said, don't you fucking dare tell me about that. And I said, well, tomorrow, how about you talk about my steroid experiment in context? You know, and she's like, okay. And she did. The next day, she was like totally retracting what she was saying. Because she's scared about the Botox thing. Freely, you do Botox, you still do it, you've done it for years, you've lied about it. Admit it. Botox isn't healthy, it's your body, it's your right to do it, but don't lie about it just because you're trying to make me look a bad person. Um, Freely punch me in the head, yeah, we all know that. Um, you know. But there we go. So that's just some quick stuff. If you got any questions, let us down below. Got no hate for Freely, got no hate for Robin. But really, all she cares about right now is making more money to do more house renovations. And hey, good on her. There's nothing wrong with that. But her heart isn't in community. She's not going to have backpackers living at her house. She, her house is massive. And she doesn't have to. But all this, like, come live with me freely thing, only if you've got a million subscribers. I don't say she may make more money. Like, you know. I mean, how many potlucks has freely put on or been to on the Gold Coast in the last eight months, whatever she's been back home? Zero. Everyone at the festival who came last year was disappointed in how Philly's heart wasn't really in the event. You know, she was just there to hook up with Robin, to show her face, hang out with her buddies. She wasn't really there for new people. She did a few selfies, did a couple of interviews, but it was like you only had like a, you had the sense as you only had a couple of minutes with her that she was quite more important than you were, and it's like she's busy, move on, please. Even though people travel all around the world to come meet us, so I travel all around the world to, to meet someone. I'm going to give you a bit more time. You got a problem with your bike? I'm going to help you fix it. You know, help yourself learn and stuff like that. Is the festival still on this year? For sure, man. It's six weeks long. July uh, 14th is when it finishes. June 1st to July 14th. Uh, the Facebook group's there. Unless Freddie's banned me from that. We'll start with a new one. So apologies again to anyone who's uh, sick of the drama. I'm sick of the drama, but some of you are asking about Freddie's latest Tumblr post. So I'm doing this video just to address that. Some of you are asking about why I've been banned from my own forum after nine years. Just doing this video to address that. Freely loves taking things out of context. If you got any questions, we'll do more vids. Freely, stop lying, and please stop doing Botox. It is not healthy for you.